Hello, everybody! It's Vertical Sandwich! Oh, profiting by the experience of others. Thank you, Robin Collingwood. I don't know who you are. Okay, it's time for the Catherine Good ending. So, yes, yes, chaotic excitement. I pray. Before we continue, I want. If it's the truth. Do you wish for a peaceful life? Do I wish for a peaceful life? I do! Absolutely, apparently. Okay, clicky, 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 click, click. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay for the sandwich. We understand. No, you don't. I've done this. <laughs> You've uh, no idea how many endings of this game I've gone through at this point. Like, I went through a couple endings before I got the first three taken care of. Oh, no, the first four. The first four. And then I've done these endings twice. So it's like to get you videos of eight different endings. The third great trot, there is I have one played way. something like 13 of them or something stupid like that. Which is, you know, five too many. It's clearly five too many. Pause. Alright. So we did yes. We did yes again. And then we select chaotic excitement. And there shouldn't be... Uh, second option. Hopefully. You still haven't died? I still you haven't died. Oh, man. So, I'm gonna... This is okay. The third. Do you wish for the excitement of chaos? I do! <laughs> apparently. I'm sending you mixed, mixed messages. You'll live. I know it's confusing, but you'll figure it out. Your evil accounting system will account for my inconsistencies. There must be an actuary table or something for people who... Oh, that's my favorite... My, my favorite lines out of Portal 2 is where she's talking about how long Chell's gonna live and she's like, 60 more years. We only have like 60 more years, give or take. I wouldn't, I can't be sure. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. That's so great. The fourth great truck, the floor. All right. Although my favorite, I think my favorite line from, uh, I think my favorite line from Portal 2 is the thing about, uh, there are a lot of things that are, that are, uh... Wait, we've all invented each sailing on a voyage of discovery guided beach by private chart, of which there is no duplicate. The thing about, like, uh... Wow. To think you have this much will to survive. Oh, jeez, the thing from the trailer, where it's like, for science, you monster, <laughs> like, I love that. <laughs> it's entertaining first. Okay. This bullshit. What me? Isn't it obvious? Hmm. What? Life isn't so... Just... Uh -huh. no Alright, there's curse, blah blah blah, blah different mad average man. Last question to freedom. Do you truly wish for? Chaotic excitement! Chaotic excitement, give it to me! It's what I truly wish for. See, so uh, there yeah, so there isn't a second there isn't a second thing. A second question if you pick chaotic excitement. Like, it's weird, because the questions change based on the questions, the way you answer before. It's very strange, there's... It, it would be a complicated system to try to debug, I think, but maybe not, I don't know. I mean, I guess I can only fork so many times, there's only two possible outcomes and... Possibly four questions. There really is only... 16 you possible Use all things or something. The time yeah, it's 16. Come. So, yeah. I guess you could try them all and then just see what happens. Alright. Boom. We skip that. All tragedies are finished by death. All comedies by a marriage. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think of an exception. There has to be a tragedy that finishes with a marriage. Sheep. How could this happen? Oh! Very well. Oh, man. Finally here. Or a comedy that ends with a death, for that matter. 
There have to be tons of comedies that end with a death. Or we get at birdies, which starts with a death. Oh, I forgot to mash. I don't even have to answer a question here, I can just mash. It's free mashing time. Alright, so here we go. We're about to set up for like one of the few like one of the funner endings I've experienced so far. And I wish I had recorded, because I did record. For the first setups, I didn't record audio because I knew I would have to, like, edit together all this garbage. And then I f forgot to record, like, the questions or something. Or, I can't the find them. I don't, I don't know if I forgot to record them or not. Maybe I just decided it wasn't important. Sounds like me, anyway. So, uh... So I didn't record audio, and my reaction to some of this would have been a lot of fun. Alright, so here we go. So this should be our load-up for the next ending. For the Catherine good ending. Catherine of the Sea. <laughs> so we've seen the opening to this, because the opening is him talking to Thomas Mutton and getting him to make Catherine appear, and him being like, well, Tyler, unusual, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> it's morning. <laughs> I like how this game was made into that slight period in history All right. where phones had gotten as small as they were going to get before they suddenly ballooned out to be crazy big again. Time to go. It was like razor flip phones, and then suddenly it was like gigantic tablets that aren't even phones and things like that. Like We're getting very close to phones that don't make phone calls, I'm telling you. This is a pretty odd request. Why do you want to do this anyway? You promised me you'd get her to meet me. That's all I want. You say she's just an illusion, but I don't buy it. Well, she is an illusion. In this realm. But a promise is a promise. I can't stop you from meeting with her. <laughs> Very well. You should know, though, that she is not a resident of this reality. She is an ancient being who enters men's dreams to perform evil. I take no responsibility for what happens if you pursue her. Hey, you know what? Enough with the threats. Quit the chit-chat and just call her. She's already here. Take your time. My job here is done. <laughs> Catherine. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. How have you been? I mean, it's it's good to see you again. Yeah. I've never been called out like this before. It was really surprising. So, what do you want? You know what I am, right? Uh, yeah. Aren't you scared? Well, maybe a little. Hmm. Vincent, listen. I was only helping him out, on a whim. You're the one who wanted me, and you're the one who rejected me, remember? And now, you ask me to meet you here. What's this about? Well, I wanted to talk. With me? Yeah, of course with you. <laughs> what is it? Look, don't worry about it. I don't care that you dumped me. You, well, no. That's not it. It's not? So... There's something I want... Something I have to tell you. Okay. I'm listening. So, out with it already. I've made up my mind. Your mind? Before, I was worried about my future. I thought my life was being decided for me, but meeting you, I feel like I've overcome that. <laughs> what are you saying? You met me and overcame what? I don't know how to say it. Society's all about patience and self-sacrifice, right? 
I mean, everyone practically kills themselves to stay safely within the herd. Mm -hmm. But I hate that life. Even if it means I'm going astray myself. That's why I was willing to go through all of that nightmare bullshit. I made it out alive. I'm not in the herd anymore. Now that I've met you, I've lost all hesitation that I had. Huh? I'm totally free now. Together, we can both live our lives to the fullest without chaining each other down. Uh, I see. And so, I've decided I want to live with you. Uh, live with me? Wait, what are you saying? Living with me means... Oh, I can quit being human if that's what it takes. <sighs> I've made up my mind. Don't you believe me? Vincent? All right, here we go. I want you. Let's get married. Marry me? We can do it, right? I, I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. You can't stop it, Vincent. Jeez, mm. knock it off, will ya? Oh, good. I'm glad that you understand. Well, wait a minute. I haven't agreed to anything yet. All I want is for you to be with me. You, you can do whatever you want, okay? Whatever I want? You know I'm not human, right? That could present problems. Uh, such as? Uh, lots of them, actually. Besides, it's not like I can stay here with you. The thing is, Vince, the whole kid thing would have to be off the table. And I mean, everything I did to you, I might do to other guys. Oh, yeah. Why don't we just take it one day at a time? One day at a time? And you're okay with that? I'm sure we'll manage somehow. <laughs> You human, what an all damnation are you prattling on about, eh? One day at a time? What utter absurdity! A mere human dares ask to wed the daughter of the plenipotentiary of the netherworld? Not in my house! You're his daughter? Get out of here, Daddy! I'm having an important conversation, okay? So this guy's your father. You got a problem? <laughs> Let's go home. You promised you'd play video games with me tonight. Okay, uh, let's just cut to the chase then. I need to know, okay? No more games now, Catherine. What do you think of me, honestly? Uh, uh well, I am... Um... Hey! Why the hell are you blushing? Are you embarrassed over a human? Oh, you shut up! <laughs> Jeez, how do I put this? Um, well, to put it in human terms, I guess... I... I like you. And I was spending time with you when I was supposed to be seducing other men. What on earth is going I on here? To seduce more people, but... Okay, that settles it then. Uh, Marry me, Catherine. Uh, um, okay. Oh, no, it's not okay at all. <laughs> Never! You're not taking my baby! I really like her father. He is a lot of fun. Let's see what Trisha has to say. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? And the finale, mm, with Vincent begging not his ex-girlfriend, but the succubus to come back to him. Not only that, but asking her to marry him. Mm, talk about being wild. 
She was shocked, but it looked like she was pretty pleased by it. I gotta say, he said some interesting things while confessing his love. That in order to live a normal life, you need self-sacrifice and patience. And if he's gonna stick out, he might as well live freely. Vincent found an answer for himself during the nightmares. And maybe Catherine accepted it because it reached her heart as his true answer. Her reaction might depend on how well she can sense Vincent's feelings. <laughs> I think that their future might just depend on it. Now tell me, what did all you players out there think of this outcome? He said that he's willing to quit being human. Is that <laughs> okay? Are you players who led him this far a bit worried about him? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Let's take a peek into the future and see what happens next. <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. All right, epilogue. Hey, how long have you been awake? All this time. No kidding. <laughs> it's not like you let me get any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning, kiddo. Good morning. No! What? What in the fuck? Don't mind me just laying around. Of course I mind you! Why are you <laughs> in my bed? Oh, just ignore him. It's no big mystery, Vincent. He's here to stalk us. <laughs> sure. A stalker, huh? A stalker? That's a cruel way to put it. I mean, I am a god after all. <laughs> I'm working hard for the sake of the world. I hate this as much as you do. Yeah, can't <laughs> doubt that. Don't worry. Just think of him as decoration. Besides, it's better when someone's watching. No! I love you, Vincent. Yeah. I really love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> So that actually may be a dirtier ending than the other ending. I don't really know what to say about that. It's better when someone's watching. I don't. I just, yeah, oh, okay. Anyway, so there we go. That's six endings down. Well, theoretically, two to go. I, there's actually a ninth ending for this game. And. Uh, Let's talk a minute about potential problems with that. So, the ninth ending involves defeating Men Menrier. Or Menir. Or however it's pronounced. There's a opening video when you unlock Men Menir, which I have taped. Because I've already unlocked it and done some practice shots at it. Menir is impossible. It's an impossible level. So let's just pretend with practice I get good enough to beat Meneer. There is actually quest, there's a question, an open question, about whether or not, by the way, this is how hard this is to do. There's an open question about whether or not it's even possible in the NTSC version of this game, the North American version of this game, to unlock that end. Clearly, it's possible in other versions of the game. You can find the ninth ending on YouTube. I have, I've watched it. I don't know if I can unlock that ending. Certainly I will show the video. Certainly I will show some of the... Um, the thing about it is... Here's the deal. So, like... In, in Babel, 
Like, the altar is hard enough. The altar has been completely mapped by players. You can cheat it. You can absolutely cheat the altar. I've not been able to find any such mapping for the other three levels. Now, it looks as if th the second one um, is actually easier than the first. That, that the altar is notoriously a hard starter level. But... The levels after that almost don't even make sense. They're so hard. And the jump from beating this game in normal mode to taking those on is pretty fantastically ridiculous. I can't promise the ninth ending to you. I would like to show you the ninth ending and I, I will work at it, but I, I can't I can't promise anything considering I mean the difficulty spike is amazing. It's so amazing. And uh, from what I hear, it's actually easier to do with a second player. Um, it may even be easier to do with two controllers and one player pausing the game. I don't know. I don't know. My limited experience with it says that it's way beyond the level of my own abilities. At least at this point. Um, without a doubt, what we will do is if I start trying at this, and it's going to be a, a bit, it, we may put it on. We may just do some work on those levels and kind of show them off a little bit, and then put it on hold, and if I can come back to it, I can come back to it, but we'll call the LP done, and if I can ever add this bonus content, I will, but I mean, I just can't see, shoot, like, putting a month into practicing a level to get an ending. Um, if that is the case, and I can't get it done, um, my own personal apologies, and please check out the ending somewhere else. Like, on YouTube or something. But, I, you know, I mean, at this point you have to know that I've, I, I will try for you, I really will. But. So we get these nice little pictures here of the horrible thing she's feeding him. Being that being her being a sexy wife and their twisted sex life. I do. I, I really. I, I do like that picture. It's it, it's it's creepy. So uh, yeah. I like I said. I can't. I can promise you eight endings. I don't know that I can promise you nine. Um. So if I cannot, I am sorry about that. So, next video is the true Catherine ending, which, yeesh, uh, I'll see you guys for that. Bye, everybody.